Hey, what's up guys? Today I'll be presenting to you guys my capstone project. Um, just a quick introduction of what I did. I launched a honeypot using an open source tool called Teapot. And within Teapot, just a suite of uh, honeypots. And I specifically use the honeypot called Calry, which is used to log brute, for brute force SSH attempts on the server as well as the commands that attackers use once they gain access. So I'll just get straight into my findings. Um, I only launched my server for around 4 hours and as you guys can see there has been 150 attacks done against it already from 9 different source IPs. Um, these are the top attackers that generated the most amount of traffic with my honeypot. Um, most attackers they, they're probably not using their own computer their own server to launch these attacks they're probably using like a proxy server and these are some of the companies they used uh, UAB Host Baltic it is a VPS provider and Frantic Solutions I believe is a web hosting service provider and these are just some of the attacks that the attackers ran and they gain access to my server and I'll dive deeper into these commands as well as the IP address that these commands came from. And the, f the first IP address that I'll be talking about is 141.98.10.60. I ran it on a virus total and as, as you guys can see, um, there has been seven security vendors that flagged this IP address. So, and this is the username that they used to log into my server. He only tried one specific username, which is just user, and he tried it 12 times. And these are the passwords that he used. Um, once he got in, he only ran one command, and he ran this command three times. So to break down this command, what he basically did was sudo hive passwd, which is to change the password. Uh, and hive is actually an OS used for crypto mining. And he also ran sudo poxorg, which is a command to... Uh, xorg is an application that provides a GUI for your interface for your Linux interface and if you, if you kill this command your Linux will actually shut down and the next IP address I ran a, a virus total on is 167.88.161.219 and same as the last IP address it was actually flagged as malicious and the IP address actually came from Frantech Solutions, which is uh, the web uh, the web hosting company that I talked about before, and it's located in Las Vegas. He also only used the username user to try and boot force, and these are the passwords he used. And surprisingly, and interestingly, he ran the same command, almost the same command as the last IP address and even the using I'm sorry even the password is exactly the same so I'm guessing they come from the same attacker uh, they the attacker probably just hosted it on two different uh, company and the last IP address I did research on was 111.70.8.147 it was also flagged as malicious and just some general information, he also used a web hosting company and this web hosting company was actually uh, located in Taiwan, Taipei, Taiwan. And these are the, these are the usernames and, whoops, these are the usernames that he used to log in and these are the passwords. And these are the commands he used once he got in. Uh, these two are actually, the shell and system, they're actually not 
Mm, they're actually not valid Linux commands. And he tried to access the busy box as well as the proc slash mounts uh, file. And the busy box is actually contains a suite of tools for uh, Linux utilities that you can use on Android devices. And that's it for my presentation and just uh, some conclusion. Um, I only launched this, like I said, I only launched this instance for EC2 instance for around four hours and there has been over 150 attacks conducted against it already from nine different IP addresses and it's pretty shocking because and based on that you can actually tell that uh, most of these attackers are using automated tools and this really goes to show that if you put something out on the internet you should really make sure all the security of it is configured correctly because these automated tools, they can really just take down your server, get into your server within hours after you launch it. Um, thank you guys for watching.